kind of like till the sun comes on. Good morning, breakfast at nine. Let's look where I am. We are back in the church. And this is weird. It's so weird. I got so cosy in my lounge. And now we're in this building. Hello, Neil. Good morning. And uh, it's so, hello, Shelma and all the Vaughans. It's so great to be back in this lovely building again. And uh, yeah, it's just a sign that things are moving. So it's really great. Um, so we are starting a brand new series. We're not keeping calm anymore. We've done that. We're all calm. So now we've got Matthew's messages of hope. Doesn't that sound lovely? Messages of hope. I like that. And they are really good. They do really give us hope. Morning, Neil. So today's theme is morning, Andre. Andre, Andre you're still eating. Lucky you. What have you got this morning? Toast? What are, you, what are you eating for breakfast? What are you eating for breakfast? I'm going to be nosy this morning. Tell me what you're munching on and I can get jealous. Hello. So, uh, sorry, learn from me is the theme today. I'm learning what your breakfast is. And uh, we can learn, not from Matthew, but from Jesus. And Jesus wants us to know that no matter how busy life gets, eating breakfast and rushing about, if we ask him, he will share our birds, we will, he will share our burdens and give us rest. Now then, today's story happens in a marketplace where there's loads of people, okay? There's loads of hustle and bustle and Jesus is there ready to talk. So I thought, oh, I've got my shopping bag and it's not just any shopping bag. Look, anybody like Emmerdale? I've been to David's shop. It's David's shopping bag. It's not just any bag. Anyway, I've been shopping. Oh! Boiled egg with avocado on toast. God, you're very posh, aren't you? Oh, I just had Cheerios with a banana. Lucky you. Hi, Mars. So, I've been shopping, okay? And I thought this bag is really, 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 I'll put it on, really, really heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy, okay? Heavy burdens, get it? So, we're going to play a game with my shopping. Hi, Shirley. And we're going to play Guess the Heaviest Item. Dun, dun, dun. So, you won't believe this, but I have got a tin of Heinz, Heinz chicken and sweet corn soup and Heinz chicken and mushroom soup. Now, you'd think they weigh the same, wouldn't you? Mm -mm. So, which do you think is the heaviest? Do you think it's the chicken and sweet corn? Take a look at that. I've got to go that way. Hello, the, oh, Legita. Hello, Julie. Give me a wave, Julie. Hello. So, do you think the chicken and sweet corn soup is the heaviest? Or do you think the chicken and mushroom soup is the heaviest? What do you think? Dun, dun, dun. They both say they weigh 400 grams. But actually, they weigh a bit more than that. So which do you think is the heaviest? Now, there's a lag on this. So it's not me, like, being lazy. There is a lag. So I won't get your things up for a little while. But do, do, do. Janice, what do you think? What's the heaviest? Chicken and sweet corn, chicken and mushroom? Chicken and sweet corn. Chicken and sweet corn? Yes. I don't know, because sweet corn's quite light, isn't it? I mean, it does things. Mushrooms are light, Oh, mushrooms are light. What do you think, Ed? Chicken and sweet corn. Oh, so does Millie says chicken and sweet corn. Who, who else thinks it's chicken and sweet corn? Sweet corn, Andre? Yeah, you all think chicken and sweet corn? It can't be mushroom. Can't be mushroom. <laughs> John's on it this morning. Actually, you are right. Do you know, chicken and sweet corn is 455 grams, whereas the chicken and mushroom is only 449. So remember that when you want to get filled in your tummy, go for chicken and sweet corn. Okay, next. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got Tesco's Cheapo granulated sugar um, sweetener. It's sweetener. Really light. Woohoo! But then so is an apple. So which is the heaviest? Is it the sweetener or is it the apple? Is it the sweetener? Oh, the apple. Ha, 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 ha. Janice, what do you reckon? Oh, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, sweet corn. Oh, sweet corn. Apple. Uh, sweetener. Sweetener. You think the sweetener's heavier? Because it's bigger. Because it's bigger. Nice one. Jean, what do you think? I think the apple. You think the apple. It does hurt if you drop it on your head, doesn't it? <laughs> Ed, what do you think? Apple. Hey, apple. Neil thinks it's the apple. 
Anybody else? What do you think? Which is the heaviest? Do, do, do. Born family, what do you think? You're staying very quiet on this. Come on, what do you reckon? Maz thinks it's the apple. Mm, mm, mm. Guess what? It's the apple! Oh, hey, apple! Oh. Yeah, the sweet corn's 108, the apple is 114. Maz thinks it's the apple, you are correct. Andre, you've got one wrong. What's going on? What's going on? That's not like you. Dear, oh dear. Now then. Oh, we have got my apples gone. It's, it's in disgust. It's rolled off. But you said sweet, not Andre. Right, we have got pasta and we have got rice. They're both really heavy, but which is the heaviest? Mm -mm -mm. Ed. Rice or pasta? Yeah. Rice. Rice. Jean? Oh, I think rice too. Rice. Janice? Rice. Rice is nice. What do you think at home? What do you reckon? Rice or pasta? Which is the heaviest? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, but I'm not telling you what the weight is. We're not. It's on the side. But yeah, it's a bit more. I will get my glasses then. <laughs> oh, I missed what somebody said. Sorry, I'm busy looking. Rice. Oh, you're all saying rice, aren't you? Well, you're right because, you know, rice... Um, yeah, it, it weighs twice, but that's because that's a 500 gram and that's a kilogram bag. <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> okay. Pineapple or juice. What do you reckon? Squash. I should say squash. Okay, it's quite big pineapple. Give you muscles. Actually, you could do a Joe Wicks on this, couldn't you? And there's the squash. What do you reckon? Pineapple or squash? Over to Ed. Squash. What do you think, Janice? Oh, squash. Squash. John thinks squash. You think squash? I'm getting muscles here. Come on at home. Come on. What do you think? Squash says Shelma. Ooh, and so does Neil. You think the squash is the heaviest? Yeah? Well, you were all wrong because it's the pineapple. Oh. <laughs> That's 1,490 grams. Squash all day long, Andre. We, sorry, but it's the pineapple because I got a really big one. And the squash is 1,459 against 1,490. So, mm. and Maz thought squash as well. Now that it's in here, it's in my bag. Last one. Oh, look at this cushion. Do you know, Kerry made me this. She knocked on the door and said, I've made something for you. Isn't it beautiful? Can you see the ducks? So, and then I've got my teddy. He's been in the window all through lock time. And I've got him out now. Everybody loved him because she's pink. Um, so, what is the heaviest item? Is it the cushion that Kerry made? Or is it the cute teddy? Pick me, pick me. No, shh. Okay, so what do you think, Ed? I mean, it can be slightly weird, but... <laughs> Quite, quite heavy. Teddy? Jean, what do you think? Yeah. Pillow? Janice? I think Teddy's cute. He is, she is. I keep calling it he. She is cute. Julie says the teddy is the heaviest and so does Neil. Okay. Julie, you're right! Yes! I bet you're running around that lounge now going, Whoa! aren't you? Yeah, Teddy. Teddy is the heaviest. He's 204 and the, the cushion is 162. Well done. Now that's a game you can play at home. It's quite a laugh actually, even, you know, around dinner. Teddy, he looks like he needs to go on a diet. <laughs> Andre, you're hilarious. Okay. Oh, cushion. Oh, Shelma, sorry. It was very light filling in that, but it's deceiving, isn't it? It's deceiving, yeah. So, do you know Back to, if you've just tuned in, it's, we're starting a new series, Ma Ma the Matthew's Messages of Hope. And today's theme is Learn From Me. That's from Jesus, not Matthew. So, do you know, sometimes it can be really hard going and we can be okay. And then for some strange reason, we can feel really, meh, yeah, sympathise with that. And we can find it difficult to get through the day. And on those particular days, those days we need some encouragement mm -hmm. and we can find that encouragement by looking at the bible and putting our attention on god's word don't be afraid i am with you 
is in Genesis 26, 24. I'll give you strength is in Psalms 28, 7. I'm with you in times of trouble is in Psalms 34, 6. And these words of encouragement are just what we need to face these hard days. And reading a bit of scripture and reminding ourselves that God is with us can really, really help. But do you ever have a day when the weight is more than you can handle? Really hard going. Of course you do. We'll all have days like that at the moment, don't we? But it's good to know that when things are more than we can bear, do you know, God is there. He's there with us. And listening to these words that Jesus spoke, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest in your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. On those really hard days, Jesus steps in and he lifts our burden, and with him, our burdens become lighter. And if you feel a bit meh or heavily burdened this week, then dig deep in your scripture. Go to Matthew 11:28 and read these words and learn from Jesus, because it really does help. Now then, if you go to our website, ready for the song? It's usually a Monday. What's that all about? I don't know. Okay. Um, Oh, on Monday morning, you feel low. Well, then you need to dig deep in your scripture, don't you? When you wake up, think, how can I get over this? Jesus! Keep him by your side. He's your flexible friend. Ding, ding. So, we're going over to the website, www.christchurchtreeball.org. Sorry, I'm all over the place this morning. It's really weird. So, oh my gosh, you have got to see this, okay? <laughs> the Pattersons have done the story. But first of all, Neil, I want to say a big thank you to you because you have been incredible with this building. He has done fix it, removals, cleaning, um, dump runs. He has just done loads in this church building this week and we just want to say a huge thank you to you Neil you're amazing and I got to hear him singing this the other day he was hoovering and singing it was, it was lovely Neil thumbs up thank you so much and he's done this amazing story you've got to see it because on this lounge Neil is dressed as Jesus of course Millie is in the crowd but then next to him is a stormtrooper and next to that one I think he called it George he's the like punch dummy and it's so funny because they're sat on the sofa <laughs> Millie's really serious and Neil's preaching to them as Jesus you got to, you got to see it get on there and see it and you can hear the story as well and then the craft today oh this is cool we're making I've called it Jesus scopes do, do, do. can you see what's on the end can you see look mm, it's a cross so when you look through here you put Jesus in everything isn't that great do, do, do. and it changes your view you need one of these for a Monday morning Janice it will change your view. So this is so easy. You could just get a kitchen roll or you can, because you're at home, you can use toilet rolls. Mm -mm -mm. You can make little ones or you could have binoculars with double ones on. But you just, um, you can either just colour it in and put stickers on. I've used wrapping paper and if you like this, it's in Primark. Really cheap, really nice. Um, so just cover it in wrapping paper and then just cut a little cross. And then this, I've just sanitated taped it on the end there. And look, clever, isn't it? So make one of those and have fun seeing things in a different way. And then, oh, the game. <laughs> so, Jesus takes all our burdens upon him. So, it's sharing the load. So, it's a three-legged activity. So, you need to join together, tie your legs with somebody, and then see what activities that you can do. So, you can have a bit of fun, like go hang the washing out, or play football, or go for a walk. That would be hilarious. See how you get on being yoked to somebody else. And then there's the usual, there's the questions and a lovely reflection and there's an activity sheet and the song today, I'm going to give you a clue, you need two of them on Monday morning, one for each eye. That's a brilliant idea, Andre. And I was going to say to you, if you do make any, can you take a photo and put them up, not on the uh, Christchurch open page, but put it on our Christchurch group because I'd love to see you, even if you have a go at the game and, and, and with the, the yoke tied together, take photos and stick it on there so we can see what you get up to. I'd love to see that. And any of these uh, Jesus scopes, pop them on there and then I can whip them off and put the pictures on our website, on our gallery at the bottom of Breakfast at Nine. 
So the song, give it, aye aye. <laughs> so our song goes like this. So what is it? What's the song? What's the song? You don't know. You don't know. You spin me right round. You spin me right round. My. My. Shine my house. I want my house. Not me supposed to sing. There you go. Okay, yes, it's my lighthouse. I bet the kids got that one. I bet they did at home. So, have a go on that. Thank you, Neil. That's very kind of you. Um, I don't think we've got any birthdays. The problem is, Church Suite only give me some of the birthdays, and then I have to watch Facebook very closely. If it is your birthday, ping it on here quickly. Neil, well done. You got it. Good, good lad. Um, yeah. Um, if it is your birthday, sorry, I didn't realise, but let me know and we will sing to you. And, um, yeah, don't forget to go on here, um, on our Christchurch page at 10 o'clock live for the two nutters, I mean our two lovely revs who will be leading that service. And I'm just going to finish with a prayer now. So I just want to step out and give you that view of that cross. And we're just going to settle and just bring Jesus into our hearts right now. Wherever you're at, let's just bring him in. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that. Be still and know. Be still and. Be still. Be. Just be. Sit at Jesus' feet and just. And we thank you that you are always with us, Jesus. Always by our side. However we feel, you are always there, carrying our burdens. We can share our yoke with you. And we thank you that you are our rock. You are our stronghold. You are our shelter. And we can worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Julie straight away knew the song. Well done, Julie. That's fantastic. Did you want... Would, would I be able to do a notice if you could move so I don't... I'm moving. I am social distancing. There you go. Good morning. It's good to, uh, to be here this morning. And I'm here up the front because I've got a notice or two to give you. First of all, a big thank you. I heard from Keith late last night that £2,900 you have given towards paying the interest for the loan. That means the good news is the interest of the loan is paid and we've got 300, just under £300 towards the next payment, which is a much, 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 much bigger payment. So thank you. And also we asked if people would increase their giving um, a little from what you're already giving to increased giving so that we can pay towards the loan because we've got to find £2,000 a month to save up to pay the loan back every six months and, and we need 2000 So far, you have pledged £380 a month so we are on the way. There's still room to go if you would like to help with that Keith and Sue would love to hear from you. Um, also, we've had £400 given to Room to Grow <clears throat> to start to pay off a little bit of that big chunk of loan that we've got. So thank you so much. And if you've got more that you can do, please speak to myself or to Keith or to Sue. Now, 
you will notice there's just a little few more people in the building. We are socially distancing, we are being very sensible, but from next week, we are going to aim to have a live in the building service. We're still going to do exactly what we do. We're gonna go Facebook Live for breakfast and we're gonna go live for 10 o'clock. And during, um, during July and August, we're gonna have one act of worship at 10 o'clock in church. Now, we can only have a certain number of people in the building and we're still trying to work out the best approach because we don't want queues and then have to turn people away but equally booking people in seems a bit weird too so by tomorrow we will have made a decision we're working on it and we've taken all the government guidelines and the church of england guidelines and john has spent many a lovely hour putting it all together as a risk assessment and then we're going to have that finished by tomorrow so we think that we can get the minimum of 30 people in the building and we're also hoping to have five tables that would be a social bubble and so a family could sit around one table there will be more information coming but you will all be welcome room permitting to be in church and as I said, everything will still go out on Facebook Live. And we're hoping that by the beginning of September, God willing, COVID being eliminated, that we will be back to two services. So that's the news so far. So could you watch on your emails and could you check out um, just to be absolutely sure. But we would love to see as many as we can get in the building next week. That would be fantastic. Thank you. And now it's time to say goodbye.